Oh my god! This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. You have Kenny, you have Carlo, you have Bamba. There is a three-headed goat on the loose, and they are about to come to you. You got sports, you got anime, you got media, you got entertainment. The same convo, baby. Tap in. Okay, now it's time to conversate. Same convo on your airwaves. Bamba came to entertain and Kenny talking anime. Carla coming with the sports, they changing lives in major ways. You was tweaking out if TAC ain't on your playlist. If you come and listen, then you listen to the best. They not worried about the others, cause they better than the rest. Kenny okay. Carla bomb, but they put the others to the test. New episode flow, now tap in to see what is next. We Welcome back. This is the same convo with your same host, Kenny, Carlil, and Bamba. And today, I got the anime segment. And uh, I ain't going to take too long. I definitely just want to talk about something that's been going crazy in the anime world today. Uh, One Piece has dropped his prequel series. Um, That prequel series is called Monsters 103, Mercy's Dragon, Damnation. And so uh, I'm pretty sure me and all my co-hosts uh, watched episode one today or yesterday. Um, first reactions, first thoughts. How did how'd y'all like it? I was when I found out what they were doing with this prequel, I was kind of upset. I uh, when I when the thought of doing a prequel for One Piece is you no, know, just an idea. I wanted Roger's story, I wanted to see Roger fight. I didn't really care about Ryuma too much, but. My first thoughts of actually watching it. I feel like it was pretty predictable. I'm like, as uh, soon as I seen the clown dude, I'm like, oh, they're clearly working together. I'm like, that that's this is so I'm like, I I got the whole plot for this 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 episode. I see it now. But yeah, it was it was cool, I guess. I mean <clears throat> animation wasn't no D. Uh Ryuma sounds just like Zoro. Does he look? He looks just like Zoro. I would yeah. say he looks just like Zoro. I think the, I didn't like three times skip Zoro. When you think of three times skip Zoro, he sounds his same. voice is very similar. I didn't look just didn't, like him. I didn't get the. I didn't get the voice. I got who sounded like Zoro was old girl's dad that they killed. He sounded like Zoro. Ryuma didn't sound like Zoro to me. Nah, Ryuma sounded like Zoro to me a little bit. Uh, I just. I mean, it was cool. The episode didn't really. It wasn't all that for me. Y'all might feel different. It was just all right. Mom, what you, what you think? <laughs> so I have a question first before I answer. Was it a is it an episode or is it a one shot? I think it to me. It was, was to me, it was like I, an episode. I keep hearing people say it's a one shot, like one and done. I think it's a because I'm using my fun. I really want to check on that. Wait, so that's the only thing we're getting? That's what I'm thinking, and I feel like if that's the only thing we're getting, you know. My review gonna change, of course. And that's I mean, the only it could, it they could. Kept that. The thing is, it could make sense because of the ending. It makes sense no. because it went, it went nah. from, it could, went could, from. Could somebody just Google that real quick? Like, yeah, okay. Nah, bro. If that's it, they could have kept that. We absolutely did not need that. <laughs> that added nothing to the story of One Piece besides no, confirming. The... Meant... Okay, that's the thing. I'll, and that, I'll say, I'll, 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 I don't think it did was I'll, confirm I'll... the theory that. Him and Zoro were related, and Zoro's from Wano. His lineage goes back to Wano. That's the only thing it did. If that was such a big deal, maybe that's gonna maybe after Egg hit, that's they needed that for something. I don't know. Let's, let's see what Carly's gonna say. I'm, I'm... Not, yeah, get going because it is this is pretty lengthy. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about first of all, um, shit. Okay, let, I mean, let me just give you my review of the movie. If it's, I'm going off with the thought that it's a one shot. And for me, it was really, 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 really underwhelming on every aspect of it. And I understand that this was a prequel that not only just happened, like, it it happened before One Piece. That's what I can give Oda. This is something that happened before One Piece was a thing. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So I understand why it doesn't relate to the story so much. However, this is, quote, unquote, a legendary swordsman, somebody that, Shook the world of One Piece, slayed the dragon, 
First of all, I thought the dragon was about to be some OP ass beast that we have never seen. Mama. That, dragon dragon. Not... <laughs> that, that dragon is dragon not. That dragon is not stronger than the beast that we saw from Skypea. Like three times skip. Come on, man. That is the wicked there... dragon I've seen in anime, bro. That was in trash. One Piece, like, try to think in One Piece. Where does that beast like rank? Like very, very low. That's Sea this... King food. Yeah, that's literally what Zoro and Straw had used to grab. Is it a one shot, Carla? See, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a one shot. It's over. It, it was, it was meant to, it was meant to give the fans something before the AK arc. Wait, that was a one shot. It was it's a done. One-shot. Yeah, it's done. Oh, so, you just with it, the bomb. Are you finished? Are you finished? No, I'm, I'm gonna give my review now because okay, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thought I was going up for, which is it's a one shot. Now, two things. Um, the quote unquote look like the watered down Mihawk and you, uh, the king, the title of the king for him to have the title of the king and for that other swordsman to be, you know, the quote unquote Mihawk of that situation, it just you're was talking, very you talking about Sharon, yeah, Sharon or whatever. It was just very weak, like, there was no you tell Momonosuke would handle them niggas in my opinion. <laughs> I'm looking at it like this is not giving me legendary. This is not giving me. I understand it's a one shot. It can be short. Give me a slash that destroys half of the town or some shit. Talking about a bronze yeah. statue. Talking about a bronze statue, bro. Come on, man. I, yeah, it was just very. That's lovely. that's if it's a one shot, you got to go OD with the animation, the fight. Something's got to be crazy. What I, is Oda doing? I. I share y'all sentiments now more than ever that I learned it was a one shot. I mean, just go go by the start. Like, I mean, when with the we was first introduced to Sharona, um, I knew it was something up with him. He was giving me a, a like, and I hate to compare it to the first episode, like a fairy tale, not in like not comparing it as it's the same, but like how you know there was the fake salamander, uh, and Nansu was the real side. Like, I knew. Like, this nigga was a fraud. Like, he just seemed like a fraud. What killed me is, like, like you like you said, Mama, there was real no, really no, um, what do you call it? There was really no feats, you feel me? There was really no feats of any sort, like, cutting through bronze. Like, yeah, that was cool. Like, sweet. But then, like, when he got pressed by old dude after he hit his, the hilt of his sword, like, you're supposed to be Ryuma the King. You're supposed to be a sword, man. He had you at the neck. He had you at the neck. You feel me? Like, but I mean, you ended up being cold, but like he still had you at the neck. And yes, he slayed the dragon, but like Kenny said, that's a seeking. You feel me? Like nigga, niggas is handling that in they sleep. You feel me? Like Zoro don't even need a sword to handle a sea king now. <laughs> like it, it just like I said, the animation was great. Um, the story was a little bit corny to me. Um, there was a lot oh, of it's very corny. There's a lot of unnecessary drama, like I was just even while watching, I was like, "This is like really dramatic for no reason." You feel me? And then it's just dude getting stabbed and nobody believing him. Like that's corny. And at the end of the day, and this is going to be one of my questions: Do y'all think there was a when at the the final battle between him and Sharon, and he uh kind of pivoted his sword before he sliced them, and there was that you know that crazy and that was the only crazy animation in the show uh do y'all think that was like uh just a a small showing of observation hockey nah <laughs> like, you, you know what you know what i'm talking about like when no, i know exactly like, like when he and white. went and slashed him and then he even mm-hmm. kind of went in that pause yeah and he... I, I feel like it was a very small feat of observation hockey i don't know i just feel like they should have done so much more that was, they really could have kept that. We didn't need that. Yeah, it like, could that have been. It could have been it, something else. He's supposed to be his legendary sword. and tell a legendary forty-eight minute story. I would literally <laughs> a forty-eight minute one shot with, with with another type of story. That would have been dope. But it's okay. also unti- really it's also untimely. Like maybe if they would have gave us that going into Wano, that would have nah. been cool. Nah, because yeah. there's the thing. We saw Ryuma with Brook Soul, who was quote unquote weak. I understand this is a prequel that you wrote before One Piece, but One Piece came out and you want to relate it to One Piece. So it's normal for you to go ahead and add more stuff to make it relevant to One Piece. The power scaling don't add up. 
Ryuma that was a zombie was supposed to be way weaker than Ryuma. And he was way more OP than this nigga. Way, like way past his league. Maybe he wasn't, maybe he was holding back. Maybe he wasn't actually going all out. Like Ooh, dead Ryuma or, or the Ryuma we just saw. The one we just saw. Maybe that's not him going full out. But, no, no, that, dead, that, dead Ryuma giving like that, that Ryuma the work. Dead Ryuma is giving that Ryuma absolute work. But it that's my this is my thing though, Kenny. It definitely looks like he was like holding back. Because at the end of the day, it took it like one strike to kill uh Shirino, whatever his name was. And it also took it one strike to kill a dragon. However, from the whole story of One Piece, what was Zoro's legend about? Oh, Ryuma. I want to surpass him. The man that slayed a dragon. This is the dragon that we're talking about. That's his craziest feat. That from oh, one, yeah, you're, from right. One Piece. you're right. That dragon is trash. Like, what? I was thinking it was going to be way more OP than Kaido. Like, oh, eventually we're going to get to see Zoro get to a point where he's going to kill this OP gigantic dragon that's going to pop up from somewhere. I thought we were going to see somebody with a devil fruit that's going to be OP and a dragon or some shit at the end. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. They need to have a dragon that was like, like not to the dead type dragon or something. Uh, exactly. like, and I, I think I think there could have been a possibility. Like I said, that was just like, that seems like him in some of his youngest days, like he was broke. He had to, he hadn't eaten in five days. He got free food. You feel me? Like, I don't know. And like he and even dude uh at the end, he even said it. He was like, people probably don't even know they call him this, but that's Ryuma the King. Like he saved people all the time. So I feel like, like Kenny said, I feel like there's more to it. They could have kept that honestly, truly and honestly kept that. That what they should have done is given us a if it's gonna be a one shot, give us a 48 minute episode give us a more legendary story give us some more legendary feats to truly prove that this is Ryuma this is literally like it, it literally it, and that's why me and Kenny didn't know until we looked it up like Bamba is more more inclined into and, and things of all anime and stuff like that so he could tell more or assume that it was a one shot this looks like a first episode to something I thought it was a pilot episode that's what I'm saying this looks like a very first episode how he got introduced everything like that like that's that just pissed me off I ain't gonna lie to you I'm pissed yeah older, uh, that just ruined my segment you, I'm not gonna lie like I have the, I have the utmost respect for older, but he, he lost a little bit tonight you just lost a little bit. All right. Um, do y'all because I I since since now I, I'm pissed, I don't want to talk about it no more. Um <laughs> I, do, I do have a follow-up question that I just thought of, but is is there any more thoughts, uh, you know, responses, comments on, you know, Monsters 103? I just this is my this is my my suggestion to Oda. Um, <clears throat> One Piece is not going to have a lot of filler, right? Going forward. However, for pay's sake, we might need some. Take your son, use Ryuma, has a filler. Give us proper episode and do him justice. Because I hope that people let him know, like, yo, this shit was ass. <laughs> like, this wasn't was it. <laughs> this, this no, was make, it. make it up to us and give us some Roger flashbacks. That, too. Yeah, do that. That Let is- us see Rocks versus Roger. Facts, because I was about to when I when I was coming into this thinking this was a series, I was about to ask a whole bunch of questions. Who you think he gonna run into? Y'all think there's any connections? <laughs> How far do you think this is? Y'all think possible joy boy? Like, nah, like I, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Maybe um, you could have used the dragon from the whatever intro they had. You know the eyes, the way yeah, they look. Facts. Um. Okay. Well. Jumping in, let's let's. I, I want to stay on One Piece. Uh, jumping into my final question of the night. Uh, as far as you know, we we know we've we're all caught up to the you know most recent manga panel. Um, as far as the anime about to drop, the Egghead Island arc. What is one thing y'all read in the manga panel that you're most excited to see get animated? Oh, I was looking at this on Twitter. Uh huh. I'm not gonna lie. I might have to go with Garp. Garp's fight. Finally getting to see Garp fight. That motherfucking punch boy. Yeah, that what was it called? Galaxy something? Galaxy Punch or Galaxy something Impact. like that. Galaxy yeah, Impact. Impact. Galaxy Impact seeing that. That's and then seeing Kobe do his version. That's gonna be cold. 
That's, that's gonna be Kobe's first feet caught on caught on the anime. That's gonna Facts. be cold. Facts. Uh, I think I don't really I don't really care about the Blackbeard Law fight. Then kid get one shot by our Shanks might be cool. That might be that might it's gonna be a dope animation, but it's gonna be like three minutes. But it's going the animation is gonna be solid. That's actually one of the can I jump in on that? Because that's yeah. one of the things I think would be fun to finally see um animated. Because I feel like people are coming at kid the wrong way. People are coming at kid the wrong way. Shanks had to dig up some information to develop his observation of Aki so I can see further, and then he saw that this nigga was about to wipe wipe out a whole fleet. Like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, even though Keith was about to do it, he snuck up on them and then hit him with that shit and then uh, bore him. You know what I'm saying? But Kid was about to do some damage to all of his fleet, the whole fleet. So technically, Shades was kind of scared. Facts. And you know how crazy that is. It's like, imagine being a captain with a with a strong pirate crew in a new world, bro. Just knowing there was somebody with ops because again, like it's not they not really close to that nigga at all. Imagine like you anywhere on the sea and you know niggas with that type of observation hockey is just rolling around. If a nigga really wanted to, if Shanks really wanted to, you know how many people he could have just wiped out. It's up. they not even close to that nigga. They just selling miles away. You feel me? Like you I got a question. Insight. If it's known that like the strongest of the strong of the pirates are stronger than the strong of the like world government, why don't they just go like we're gonna team up for a day? Like we we see pirates team up all the time at this point in that in anime. Well in one piece. The pirates be teaming up to fire other pirates all the time. Why they don't all just be like, hey, we finna run up on the government? Because emu and uh what's they don't know the about five emu. elders. They don't they, they don't know about emu. You're right, you're right, you're right. Mm-hmm. You know who it is? They know about the elders though. No, you know who it is? Shanks. Who? Um, Shanks been maintaining the balance since the get go. He's been making sure and communicating here, making sure it is putting Kaido in his place, stay here. Marines, yo, I got to tell you about this pirate. Shanks. Yeah, because, cause I, I mean, take it back to Marine 4. When that nigga showed up, neither side wanted no smoke. That nigga Blackbeard said, yeah, I'm I'm not getting involved in that one. We need to let's dip. Let's Mihawk said, I'm out. Mihawk, yeah, Mihawk, Mihawk said, that, I'm out. This. It's the ring. Uh, Sen Goku said, "Hell nah." Uh, yeah, nah. It's. But why do y'all think that is? We so Whitebeard has fought Shanks. Kaido has fought Shanks. Why do you think everybody else is just running away from him like that? Because this I is. Not, they fought him though. This Dude. is this is like this is like also that's also early Shanks though. This is and this they is, didn't fly. This is a more established Shanks. This is. <laughs> so you think Shanks is just that much stronger than everybody? No, I don't think it's okay. So my thing is, I feel like One Piece Two. Whenever they mention strength, they don't necessarily mean your strength is in this, but the influence. Like if you attack Shanks, granted Shanks is powerful, he ain't gonna fuck you up. But right, for example, right now, El Bath is gonna be behind him. All of the allies he had before for Whitebeard, I feel like it was the same thing. That's why they were scared, and we like we need all the Marines and the Warlords because if Whitebeard is attacking you, it's a whole fleet that's coming behind you. Mm, you know what I'm saying? And also, that might be the grand reason. fleet. Yeah, and also the, the war government is just pussy too. If you can be honest, they would go out of their way to make deals with like certain strong people, like the warlords. That's why they're in, introduced, and even some of the yonkos they have dealings with the war government to make sure that you know they might not team up with another yonko and do some shit. Facts. Other than um, because I know that was Kenny's answer and Bomba uh, co-sign on it. <laughs> Other than that, Bomba, is there anything else that you would? Looking forward to see animated. It's very simple and it's gonna hurt like a bitch. But going from the flashback Kumas that the Kuma had to the punch, that's gonna do us yeah, that's gonna be very satisfactory, especially with the damage that he did to Saturn. A whole arm is gone, a leg is gone, like come on, he fucked that nigga up. Like that's gonna be oh, I got that. you know the animation is gonna be it's gonna be like do you y'all saw that manga panel, like when they do yeah. those little sketching of the, you know, the intensity, yeah, anyway, stupid. Look, I'm already. Still, I hope, I hope they do the little black and white thing. When, like when Luffy punched the Celestial Dragon, if they bring that back for him, they need that. Yeah. Look, I'm already going to be prepared for 
literally is going to be a flashback of episode and at the end of each episode is going to be Kuma warming up to this fucking punch. It's going to be like 10 to 15 episodes all put together till yeah. he punched that nigga. I'm prepared. But I know one thing I want to see and it, in the manga, it wasn't it wasn't that long of a fight, so I don't think it will be that long in the anime. Too, I don't know exactly what he's about to say. I know exactly what he's Fuck Luchi. Hey, relax. Rob <laughs> Luchi versus Luffy part two. Because with that new, with the new transformation. Wait, what, 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 which, which, who are you, who are you buying? Rob Luchi? Rob Luchi. He about to be getting done so dirty. About to get <laughs> I've been, I've been waiting for part two though, cause I, I ain't gonna watch. Not only is he gonna get dirty, and then especially that part when they're like, oh no, we on a different level, and then Luffy, like the face that Oda drew that. Oda's never done that like that. That was funny as hell. Like the face that Luffy made and Zoro was like, nigga, what? Facts. He said, he said, <laughs> Did we get you already? <laughs> <laughs> fuck is you talking about? This the first dude to spin a block. That's crazy. I'm One more sleeper. Man. One more sleeper. Yeah. I just feel like this is not necessarily the panel, but the reaction from the internet is about to be about to, about to be insane. Bonnie's power. Um, she her. When we see her do that shit, it's yeah. about to be <laughs> Nika like Nika like punch, Sorry. or is it was she said Nika ish. No, she said Nika like. I think it was Nika like. Okay. If you need something else to talk about, I got something we can talk about. Go ahead, Kenny. Can we talk about that theory bomb we put in the chat? That uh, that one TikTok about the girl saying. Oh, how about how they're no? What does it mean? It was it was Carlo. The, how about they're uh, they're, they're all they're, they're not all they're not devil humans. Fruits. They're devil fruits. That's very possible. When I, it makes sense. It makes sense. I can not If they mind. are. De- Think about it, it's been in our face this whole time. We had a, a sword that was alive. How does a sword eat a devil fruit? Facts. How does that happen? Facts. That's Vega I I think that might be I, if if Oda sees that he's probably gonna have to change. You know, Oda doesn't I, like he doesn't like I don't the theory think that being it's true. necessarily like devil fruit, like a devil fruit eating a devil fruit. But like now that we introduce the magic and we know that devil fruits are just devils, like devil powers trapped within the fruit, that portal could just be like extracting the devil out of it. That's what I'm saying. I feel like they are the human incarnate, well not human, but the, the living incarnation of a devil fruit. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. I, I agree with our theory, like, because they have they clearly have devil fruit powers. There's no record of them ever eating a devil fruit. Mm-hmm. And they're they're putting sigils and they he has horns. He has horns. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, that nigga the Saturn is a scary motherfucker. I got I got further I got further proof for that and also another theory about how I was gonna say, what if they're from that dimension? Remember they a while ago we had it was exposed that devil fruits come from another dimension. Mm-hmm. What if the girls say are from that dimension? Oh, it, it's hard to wrap my head around because it you got to go into a whole background on why they were put in a position that they were and why they're trying to control the world like they are. I feel like that's, that's so you can get so deep into this theory. I feel like they just have a superiority. I feel like they, I feel like they have a superiority complex that like we see in every anime. Where if you're a devil or you're a demon, you just you just have that superiority complex. They're humans. I'm a divine. Well, not I'm an anti divine being, and you're a human. That's what he kind of said a few chapters ago. Yeah. He's saying don't compare me to lowly humans type shit. Thanks. But this is my theory. And I think that this sums it up. Because I feel like the whole point of people saying dimension, that might be fooling us because devil food didn't, didn't appear until a certain time, you know what I'm saying? A certain time period. So, and also we know how they manifest. Even though we can be thinking of like dimension, that could just be people's dreams and shit because that's literally like devil food are manifested through like hopes and maybe fear. But what I can, what I feel like ties it up perfectly as to what we were talking about them being devil first earlier, the girls say, Emu. Emu, granted that they had the eternal surgery, 
if Emu has magic, because think about when Sabo was in that room, like the way that they all transformed. Emu transformed and then them niggas transferred. That the niggas had guns in their hand. I don't think that they're gonna transform after they armed themselves. But maybe the one that's controlling the transformation is Emu. And that would make sense as to because nobody in their right mind would just, you know what I'm saying, like get up and then um like just elect somebody to sit in the empty throne and then do whatever they can to maintain that for years and years. Like that wouldn't make sense. But if you have pawns that are just those devils that you control through magic, that would make sense. And also we know that devil fruits have personality of their own, like for example with Sun God Nika. But now that we know about like for example, like the inspiration of their name and what it means in the future and how about the the shepherd one might be betraying Emu, that would make sense because that they're the nature that your fruit has. But now if Emu is controlling y'all too magic, y'all not gonna go against them, regardless of what's going on. And Emu is evil, we know that for sure. Hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. again, there's so much stuff. And like one piece is gonna last for another five I, fucking I, years. I, I was also thinking, what if we know that devil fruits are a manifestation of somebody's dream? We don't know mm-hmm. who that is. What if the girls say are a manifestation of somebody's nightmares? That's possible. You just blew my mind, Kenny. Ah, I, I'm. I, I be wanting to say is, but what if it's Sun God Nika's nightmares that the the girls say are? But that would also imply that Sun God Nika is the creator of the Devil Fruits, which right. has not, which has not been. That's never been confirmed or even thought. Like that's not never been a thing. Yeah. So I was because there's a reason why the girls say are so anti Nika. That's but, what I was thinking. Okay. What if what if they're a manifestation of Nika's dreams, the original so, Sun God Nika. This is what we should think about, though. So not necessarily dreams, but like, I feel like, because I had forgot about this earlier, but like when they were talking about Sun God Nika, they were talking about how like people keep him alive by all kind of having the idea of him, the idea of freedom and all of that. So if like, if when you look at like, for example, in Japanese culture, like yokais can be manifested throughout like people fearing them and like thinking about them. That, and like, for example, if that's possible for the good side, that could be like you said, like people's nightmares. It could just be like people's fear. For example, like how Emu is called might be the Emu Umi Bozi, whatever they're talking about, like that sea demon thing. That could be the the relation to it. Because we saw, for example, that Saturn is like basically that evil yokai. It could be the same way that they form too. Like mm-hmm. people have like folk folk tale, folk folk tales. I think that's what they call it. Hopefully, all the answers to all these questions, man. Like, I'm, I'm gonna call this episode. This was gonna be the Monsters 103 review. No, this is gonna be Theory Piece Part Two. Um, <laughs> sweat too. Theory Piece Part Two, man. But no, and that's um, oldest fault. Facts. Uh, but no, nah, I like this one. I like this one. I think this is gonna be a good episode. But that's all I have for tonight, man. We're gonna wrap this anime segment up, uh, so we can go ahead and get some media entertainment. Uh, we appreciate y'all for joining us. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Make sure you share with your friends, family, coworkers, anybody that you know that enjoys anime. And last but not least, because you probably haven't asked her yet, but she probably does enjoy anime just like you do. But make sure you share this with your grandma. The same convo loves grandmas, and we love yours the most. And we out of here.